My name is Sean O'Hara. I teach at Travis Elementary School. I teach sixth grade. I've been with Travis Unified School District for 22 years. Uh, my parents were very actively involved in education. My mom was on the school board in Vacaville for 10 years. My dad taught aeronautics at Solana Community College for 30 years. So that pushed me toward the idea of, hey, maybe this is a good, good path to be on. Uh, currently in the district, I am the fourth through sixth grade PLC facilitator. And these meetings, I work with six distinct sets of groups of, of teachers. And through these meetings, we've been able to address not only the needs of the individual students, but also the grade level of the students, uh, which I think has made us a more unified district. Uh, student progress has grown, teacher collaboration has grown, the ideas and strategies that develop from the conversations we have has been pretty outstanding. When Common Core first was adopted by our district, I had several phone calls from parents saying that they were just so frustrated and couldn't figure out how to help their kids with math. So I organized several parent nights and had them come in, spend some time teaching them the same lessons I was teaching their kids, the model drawing, the manipulatives, um, gave them an opportunity for hands-on experiences with it, a forum to ask questions and express their concerns. I think this contributed to the parents' understanding of Common Core and what our expectations are, which reduced their stress, which in turn reduced their student stress. Being on an Air Force Base, I think I, I provide another benefit to my students. It's a very transient society on base where lots of kids are coming in halfway through the year or leaving halfway through the year. Um, I also have several students whose parents, either one or both of their parents, are deployed for months at a time. So a benefit I have is being a stability for these kids and a safe place for them to be. So several years ago, I had a student in my class who, whose home life was very much in turmoil. He came to school dirty, unkempt, teeth not brushed, hair not brushed. He spent a great deal of his time hiding under his desk. Uh, one day we were reading stories and discussing the stories of people who didn't quite fit in. And he raised his hand and he poked his head out and he threw out a little comment about his home life, looked around and hid right back under his desk. A couple days later he was absent from school. My kids came to me and said, what can we do to make him feel better? How can he be part of our family here? So they brainstormed some ideas. I kind of threw some things at him. All of a sudden he was no longer the last pick for lunch games. He was no longer the last picked. Uh, at recess, he was no longer the last partner to be chosen. He had some place to be. At the end of the year, I, I let the kids take my podium, say goodbye to the kids, do whatever they need to do. Uh, usually it's a pretty silly time for them. So I watched him walk to the podium and walk away, walk to the podium, walk away. He finally went up to the podium, grabbed it with both hands, looked at the kids and said, thank you for making me be part of this family. So I'd like to thank my family and my friends for always supporting me. I'd like to thank the staff at Travis Elementary for always being willing to play my games and follow my crazy ideas. I, of course, would like to thank my students. And I'd like to thank Jenny for being my rock and my biggest supporter.